Hey guys, welcome to our channel Learn Like Pro. This is Sanjana and in this video we are going to see installing Java and executing our first Java program. So the first step, the first step is installing Java. For that we need to download Java. But here comes the question from where do we need to download Java. For example, if we search in google.com for Java download, it will give you a link java.com to download free Java software. If we go here and click on Java download and agree and start free download, it will give you a Java setup file which on executing gives a Java folder with JRE inside. So in this way, we'll get a Java folder with JRE inside. But is only JRE enough for us? The answer is definitely no. JRE is only for those whose work is to execute the Java files or to run built-in applications. But if you are a developer, you will need a development kit to compile your code as well as to execute. So for that, we need to download Java JDK. And this Java is not at all usable for a developer. If it is already installed in your system, please uninstall this particular Java from your system, which is having only JRE. So I'm uninstalling this. So now we have to download Java JDK. JDK is a Java development kit which also comprises of JRE in it. So it is enough to download and install JDK instead of installing both JRE and JDK. So here you will see a link from oracle.com. Click on that. Go to JDK download. And if you scroll down, you can see the downloads for different configurations and different operating systems. As mine is a Windows operating system, I'm going to download Windows exe file. You can also download zip file, but I'm downloading the exe file. Once you are done downloading your GDK, just click on that to install Java. Click on next, path, next. Now you can see Java development kit successfully installed. Now we will close and we will just verify what we got. For that I will go to my C drive, program files the java which got installed just now and there we can see the jdk got installed inside java okay now we are done with the first step we are done with installing java successfully now comes the next step that is executing our first program in java for that we need to write a simple java program at present i am using my notepad to write a simple program I am just trying to print some data. So as I am done writing a simple program, now it's time to save the file. I am saving in my work folder and then jlearn and the file name will be the class name. So my sample one dot java. So as I am done with saving the program, now it's time to compile and execute our code. For that, we'll go to our command prompt and 
this is not the path where I have saved my files. So I'll go to that particular path where I have saved my file. For that, I'll change the drive to D by giving D colon, change the directory to work. then to jlearn where I have saved my file right so now to compile the program we all know we'll give a command java c followed by the file name and there comes an error java c is not recognized as an internal or external command so let's know why this error comes this error comes because the system doesn't know what is java c and what to do with it. So in order to tell the system the functionality of Java C, we need to show it where Java C is located. To do this, we have to set the path of Java C in environment variables. First of all, let's, fi let's find out where is Java C. For that, we'll go to our Java folder, which is in program files, Java and JDK. And inside bin, you'll be able to find your Java C. Here, here is our Java C file. So this tells our system what to do with the file. So we have to copy this particular path where Java C is located and we have to set this in environment variables. So where is environment variables? For that, go to your control panel, system and security, system, and then advanced system settings you can find environment variables here otherwise just close everything and directly type advanced system settings over here you'll get advanced system settings and there you can see environment variables click on that and under system variables you can see path variable here click on edit and just cross verify once if the path for bin folder is already present here so the path for the bin folder is not present so we will create a new path and paste this one just click on ok and similarly under user variables also click on path edit Add a new path here. Click on OK. OK. And then OK. And now just setting the path is not enough. We have to refresh our command prompt. For that I'll just close it and open it again. And now we'll do the process once again. Then compile Java C my sample one dot Java. And there you can see our file got compiled successfully. And if you go to your works folder, JLearn, you can see that a class file got created for our particular Java file. Now let's execute the file. For that, we'll give Java followed by just class name and here comes the output this is my sample one which I was trying to print so that's it guys this is how to install Java and execute first Java program I hope you people understood this clearly if you find this video useful please like it and share it and for more videos please subscribe to our channel learn like pro thank you